All right, guys, so raise your hand if you've ever been too high. THC intoxication is never fun. What's going on, guys? This is Dr. Andreoni from Cannabis Doctors of Florida. Today, we're gonna to be talking about some of the adverse effects that you may experience if you overdo it with THC. Look, as a new patient, and especially without me as your doctor, it can be very hard navigating through medical marijuana, which products to use, what doses to take, how to take it, when to take it, and as a result, it can be very easy to overdo it and experience side effects. So what are the more common side effects that you'll experience if you do get too high? Euphoria, dizziness, fatigue, dry mouth, red eye and dry eye, so pretty much drying of the mucosa, anxiety, nausea, cognitive deficits like short-term memory impairment, uh, difficulty concentrating, headache, paranoia, and some less common side effects that you'll come across like blurred vision, tachycardia, orthostatic hypotension, it does decrease blood pressure, ataxia or discoordination, depression, even acute psychosis, and then more so on the long-term side of things and in predisposed individuals, cannabis hyperemesis. The time of onset and the duration of action, or I guess in this case, how long the side effects will take to wear off, are dependent on the strength of the dose of THC, as we saw with THC exhibiting a biphasic dose response curve, and also which route was used. For example, inhalation versus edibles. If you're smoking or vaping something, the onset of side effects are gonna be much quicker than if you were eating an edible. This is due to the rapid increase of THC into the blood over a short period of time. Whereas with edibles, these effects aren't really gonna be felt for a while. The THC still has to break down in our GI tract and then get absorbed. So if you do have any side effects, you won't really feel these until later on. Also, with inhalation, these side effects last for a much shorter duration of time, whereas with the edibles, you might be feeling this all day. But at the end of the day, guys, if you do experience any unwanted side effects, the good news is, is that these are all temporary or self-limited. And rest assured, there is no evidence to show that anyone has ever overdosed on cannabis because there's not many, if any, CB1 receptors in the area of the brainstem that controls our respiration. Opioids, on the other hand? All right, so now that we've established that you're too high, there's a couple things to do at this point. One, lay down and just sleep it off. More likely than not, after a nice nap, you're gonna be feeling much better. Number two, you can always take some CBD. CBD is great for reducing the unwanted side effects of THC intoxication. Dr. Andreoni, how does that happen? I thought you'd never ask. CBD is what's known as a negative allosteric modulator to the CB1 receptor. So normally what happens, THC will bind at the active site of the CB1 receptor and then we get the high. However, with CBD, CBD binds at another site called the allosteric site. Once it binds to this site, the CB1 receptor changes its shape and then kicks THC out. You'll need to take at least equal amounts of CBD for this to be effective though. And really, it reduces the high in like half the time rather than time just wearing it off on its own. And then lastly, you can always just chew on some peppercorn. Neil Young did tell Howard Stern on an interview one day that if you ever get too high or the paranoia that you get with smoking too much, just chew on some peppercorn. There is some science behind it, but it's not really 100%, so we're not gonna get into it. But it has been shown to work, so you might as well just give it a try, it can't hurt. Anyways guys, I hope this helped. I'll see you next time.